This is fun. Have fun. Weird faces. We'll do a couple of shots full body, a couple of shots, three quarts, a couple of shots, and then we can shot that shot. Okay, but this is cute. Slightly sexy. Hey there, John here, back with another behind the scenes of one of my recent shoots. And in this one, we have Evie. This is Evie's fourth shoot ever, and I'm trying to break into the nude slash lingerie genre of modeling. Can be quite daunting. So for our session, as usual, I want to start with a little bit of a warm up. So we started off with the snapshot look with a plain white background with one direct strobe straight onto the model. Uh, the only minor experiment that I tried on this particular shoot than most of our other shoots where I would be using an onboard flash is this time I used a 10 inch conical silver reflector to, to blast that line and have this little bit more of a, a snapshot look with slightly bigger shadow in the back. started easing more into the more risque layouts that we were planning to do starting with my headshots uh, I wanted to do plain white background with somewhat of an emotive dramatic bright headshot with shadow depth of field GFX 50S2 uh, using the 80 millimeter 1.7 lens. Try to shoot it at wide open. So my usual lighting setup here is having the diffused light behind me. I'm also a part of the diffusion, so it's not too overexposed when the light hits the subject. started with the first lingerie look she had this flesh tone lace lingerie that we wanted to shoot I still wanted to keep the lighting setup fairly simple it's just one light a little bit high and towards 45 degree right of the subject casting a little bit of shadow on the other side to make it a little bit more of a silhouette wanted to underexpose this a little bit more hide more of the subject using lighting the one thing that i wanted to add in this particular lighting setup is that because evie has a darker skin tone i still wanted to have some form of separation from her in the background so i set up one of my v flats to lay uh, on the opposite side of the wall to kick back a little bit more shadow towards the side that did not have the light falling off her so this way again we still have that little separation from the dark background
last day, we just took the lingerie off, did a little bit of implied nude art nudes for her portfolio using the same lighting setup. And just for my personal practice, we ended our session with a dark portrait layout. So I still used uh, pretty much the same, but this time I just added a silver reflector underneath to kick up a little bit more light underneath the face and have that little bit of a brighter catch light in the eye so you can draw a little bit more attention there. Thank you very much for watching. That's it for this quick little behind the scenes video. Uh, let me know what else you guys want to see in uh, my shoots or any of the other videos that I try to do. Uh, and if you haven't yet, I would love for you guys to subscribe to the channel. I drop a monthly behind the scenes video about my shoots. I have weekly live art performances. Uh, I also have a lot of camera gear reviews and thoughts that are coming down the pipeline. And we just also relaunched the Punchy Podcast, where on a monthly basis, I'll be talking with other image makers and light shapers about their creativity and process of artistry. So hopefully there's something uh, in any of those types of content that you'd uh, enjoy and come back more often. Um, share with your friends. Again, thank you very much for watching the video and see you guys next time. Bye.